Hometown Radio, 1580 KGAF presents the Community Service Report. Here is Dee Blanton. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our community service program here on this Friday, Gainesville ISD Day. And as always, we're joined by Superintendent of the Gainesville ISD, Dr. Jeff Brazier. Hi, Jeff. Good morning, Dee. It's good to see you. It's always good to get caught up on uh, what's going on in the GISD. So uh, what's going on? Well, we got a lot of great <laughs> things going on. Uh, we uh, got some construction going on at uh, Lee Intermediate, and uh, they were starting to uh, do, the, do the dirt work there. So... Uh, you know, once that dirt work gets uh, set and they get that foundation poured, then usually the building goes up pretty quick. So we're real excited to, to see the improvements made there uh, in our in our band program. And, uh, of course, our primary focus continues to be just um, producing great quality instruction in every classroom across the district. And that's where we're uh, placing our focus and our efforts and our resources. And I think we're making some really some great progress uh, in that area as well. Yeah, and uh, of course that's what it's all about. You and I talk about that a lot, and uh, uh, we both agree that uh, that's where focus ought to remain, uh, although extracurriculars are important as well, and we're going to get to uh, a little of uh, that coming up in just a second. Uh, also, you tell me, uh, besides the band hall construction, that uh, you're going out for bids or have gone out for bids now on uh, the new multipurpose facility at the high school, right? Well, that is correct, and uh, we did have a pre-construction meeting yesterday, and so we had a a lot of interest and a lot of uh, different parties show up uh, for that walk through and so uh that's exciting because i think the more bidders that you have then uh, once that goes out then you can get the best price and so i know that the board of trustees will be looking very carefully at the uh, overall cost of that building before they make a final decision yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, let's let's talk about some other things. You brought a couple of uh, very special guests with you today. Tell us who you brought. Well, I did, but I want to talk just for a second about the importance of fine arts. It okay. seems like so many times, you know, we we our focus is on athletics, and, and every program that we have is very important. If it wasn't important, if it wasn't good for kids, then we wouldn't be doing it. Mm-hmm. But one area sometimes that kind of gets overlooked is our fine arts, and, and fine arts is so important. It really is because it helps the overall development of kids. Uh, you know, I recently uh, had read the story in this book called The Originals by Adam Grant. And he talked about, for example, those who actually won the Nobel Prize. And so they did, uh, actually as a group from Michigan State University, had did this study. They studied every Nobel Prize winner from 1901 to 2005. And what they found out is those who actually won the Nobel Prize, as compared to those who were actually great scientists of the time, the one thing that separated them the most were those that won the Nobel Prize were involved in the fine arts. And the ones that were involved in the performing arts actually had a 22 times greater chance of winning the Nobel Prize than those who did not. But those same studies have been done across different uh, uh, entrepreneurial groups, and they all found the same thing. Those who separated the, the great people, from the greater, were those who were involved in fine arts because it really does help expand the mind and allows people to see things from a different perspective. But the one area that we really had a lot of success in, uh, particularly this year, is in the fine arts. You know, our choir program, I recently competed, and I believe we had 12 that participated and tried out for uh, the uh, regional choir, and I think 11 of those advanced, and I think there was eight of those who actually are and made the um, the uh, area choir, and so we're excited about our choir, the success they're having, our band program, just then competed in area uh, last Saturday, did a phenomenal job, and, and they're there competing with some of the best programs in the state of Texas, and, and they shined, they, they did really, really well. And then, of course, too, if you haven't gone and seen the show Dracula, uh, it, it is amazing, uh, that play. And we have uh, so many kids involved in that production. But not only just the, the number of lines that the kids, you know, went through over that two-hour period of time was just, you know, amazing. But it was just the, the, the timing, the, the, the sound. Uh, there's so, so much that goes into that type of production. It was just very, very impressive. And so I brought two young men with me who are actually um, kind of a lead um, – men in uh, their specific roles in their programs. And that's, uh, of course, Jake Rhodes. Uh, he's our drum major. And then Noah Kitchens, who actually plays Dracula in, in the play of Dracula. So I just wanted to introduce them, and, and uh, maybe you can talk with them just for a moment as well, and, and let hear the community, again, get a taste of some of the amazing kids that we have uh, in GISD. All right, very good. Well, uh, Jake, we'll start with you. Uh, what's it like being drum major? I, I'm an old band guy myself, but I never was drum major. What's it like being the drum major? Well, it is quite an experience um, because you're part performer with the band, and then you're also uh, the face of the students, and you're a leader. You get to work with the directors and the the student, your your fellow peers, uh, and it's a very humbling experience. And I personally, I loved it. 
I mean, it's not over just yet, but it's uh, it can be very stressful, but it's extremely, extremely rewarding. Yeah, I would imagine that uh, you probably feel a little pressure out there. You're you're basically the band director on the field, right? Right. Uh, yeah. And uh, sometimes if things start to lose control, I guess you could say it's up to me to really anchor down and and make sure they're the music is going the way it should, and and that's something you have to always be ready for. It doesn't always happen, but, you know, just in case. Yeah, and, of course, uh, the drum major, at least during marching season, you don't play an instrument, but what instrument do you play outside of that? I play uh, baritone, or uh, you call it euphonium, too, and in jazz band, I play trombone. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So and I guess then after, uh, after uh, football season is over, you uh, kind of transition into a concert band. And uh, you, you, I, I know that the target has got to be winning that sweepstakes, right? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the fact that we were able to get a one at region um, really just kind of opens up your mindset. And, hey, we could actually get this award that, you know, so many other band programs were getting that you – thought it was impossible but now it's not you know we can really do this yeah and, and of course for those that don't know i think the other two areas are concert and sight reading is that right, right, right. yeah so uh, uh best of luck uh my bands all those years i uh, year, years ago weren't able to ever get the sweepstakes but uh, we got a few ones here and there but never all of them all in one year let's uh, go over to Noah here real quick and talk about dracula uh oh. you don't i don't see your fangs today oh yeah i left them at home i didn't want to scare you too much uh <laughs> Like Dr. Brazier said, there is a lot going on in this show. It is one of the most technically advanced shows we've had. You know, we got lights, we have stage directions, we got oh, sound backstage, music cues, oh, smoke, just so much going on in this show. And it, it just, it wouldn't work if we all did not have a passion for this, like, for the art. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's, uh, that's one of the most important things that why or one of the biggest reasons we all do so well and why everyone comes to our shows and they love it so much is because everyone that's out there we love doing it right um and really it just all comes from our director miss sims like she is a phenomenal woman um to like i'll be honest like maybe two weeks or a week before we had our first performance it was it was ooh, it was scary mm -hmm. because you know like you said we all had a ton of lines and it's just everyone's important and we have so much going on that it it seemed like you know we might not put on the best show the first night but when we we got out there we all pulled it together and we did great and every show just keeps getting better and better and better and it's just it's so rewarding to work with all these kids and to work with miss sims to to spread art to to everyone because and at the end of the day that's what i love doing i love to spread the show and i love to see People come up to me after the show. I was like, oh, my gosh, that was so scary. You're so freaky. I can't even look at you right now. It's like, I mean, that's what I love at the end of the day. That's just it's so fun. And, and now, uh, speaking of Mrs. Sims, I, I'm going to give you a chance to really brag on her some more. I understand, haven't seen this production, but I understand that there is a phenomenal, phenomenal number of Number one, cast members. Number one, number two, technical uh, support, stage hands, and all that. And just her having to coordinate and uh, oversee all of that is is a great endeavor. Oh, it is crazy. Sometimes I don't know how she's a sane woman because <laughs> if you were to put me in charge of all of them, I would go crazy. It's just I think at what the biggest re or one of the biggest reasons she does so well at her job is because she loves it. I mean, you can really tell that this is what she loves doing, and she loves spreading that art. Mm -hmm. like, like what I talked about is um, every day she wants to come and she wants to work on that show, and she wants to try new things and see these new actors like flourish and try all this new stuff. Because I know I, uh, I started my sophomore year, and I had never acted in my life. Like You would have told me I was going to act. I was like, you're crazy. I don't <laughs> want to get on that stage. Too many people looking at me. But um, she bragged and was like come on I, i've seen you get on the stage let's go let's go and i ended up getting like uh, a second male lead role my first year and then i went on to go to competitions and get rewards and it was just it's because of the work that she she did for me like she could see my potential and she brought it out of me and she doesn't just bring that out of me or my friend jake here she brings it out of every single actor no matter how small or how big your role is it all is very very important to the play and she's just, 
She's just a great woman. I mean, I could talk all day on it, really, if you wanted to. <laughs> and and it, it's great to feel that way about an instructor. Jeff, wouldn't you say so? When when the student thinks so much of and has so much respect for the instructor, it just makes everything better, doesn't it? Well, it really is. And if you look across the district, and you know, it's, it's great teachers that separate good schools from great schools. And so that's what we're striving to get is the best directors, the best coaches, the, the best teachers in every single classroom because they are the ones that make the true impact on the lives of students. And so, you know, these are just some different areas that we've been very uh, successful in getting good, highly quality people to lead these programs. And as a result, you take our, the great kids that we have and they do amazing, amazing things. Yeah. So this is two great examples. But I, uh, before you go, I did want to clarify, I don't think I uh, re reviewed my notes on the choir. There are actually 12 kids that participated in this pre-state competition, 11 placed in an honor choir and eight advance to pre-area auditions so great. anyway just great job for the choir group as well and uh, hopefully we'll have some that'll make the state uh, choir and i'd like to bring them back next month so. sure and we'll let them sing for us maybe how's that Absolutely. all right uh, jeff thanks very much and jake no continued success keep breaking a leg and what you're doing okay thank you very much all right Steve. it's great to have you both here thanks for you bet, and that's going to do it for our community service program from the Gainesville ISD today here on Hometown Radio, 1580 KGAF.